for Glenn Youngkin, but one of the people organizing the surrogates on the Democratic side, Democratic operative Josh Schwerin, now CEO of Saratoga Strategies, joins us from the McAuliffe headquarters. Nice to see you, my friend. Uh, tell me uh, what the mood is there. Are we have gotten to cautiously optimistic yet? The, the mood's good. It's, it's We're still waiting for folks to, to really trickle in after um, hitting the doors up until the, the polls closed. But turnout's really high. The Yunkin strategy was that Democratic turnout would be low. That clearly hasn't happened. And so people feel good about this. It's going to be a, a late night and, and, and a close race, but, um, but people feel really good here. I, I, it's a little hard to hear you, so speak up. I know the noise there uh, is significant. You were famous during the Trump administration for having a tweet at the top of your Twitter feed that said, today is a bad day for Donald Trump. Um, and you said it was forever true. Uh, but I'm, I'm interested in this. If Glenn Youngkin wins, is it a good day or a bad day for Donald Trump from the Democratic perspective? Well, Donald Trump's not in the White House, so I think it's not a good day for Donald Trump. And the fact is that Glenn Youngkin wouldn't be seen with him, despite the fact that he put Trump in ads in the Republican primary and said that Trump was an inspiration for his run, but then wouldn't be seen with him in person, refused to go to the two tele rallies that Donald Trump did for him. So I think if I were Donald Trump, I would be worried that every Republican candidate is going to be afraid of being seen with Donald Trump uh, in the midterms. And that's pretty scary for someone with the ego the size of his. Uh, some just a little bit more data coming in, more from rural and southwest Virginia, where we expect Yunkin uh, to be ahead right now, 56-44, and we're waiting for some more data uh, from Loudoun County and some of the other spots. Uh, nevertheless, the early vote data from Loudoun County is not the two-to-one margin that President Biden won by. He, Terry McAuliffe's only up a couple of points uh, in Loudoun County. Uh, is it time for Democrats to learn something uh, that running against Donald Trump may not work uh, when Trump isn't on the ballot? Uh, we're, we're like 9 or 10 percent in, I believe, so I think it's a little early to, to be taking lessons away from what we didn't know, um, given that we don't know how the, end, the night's going to end. But the fact is that turnout is likely to exceed 3 million votes, which is far higher than 2017, which was a wave election about Donald Trump. So the fact is, Democratic turnout is up, Republican turnout is also up. But the counties yeah. around D.C. that have a lot of Democratic votes that haven't reported yet have already exceeded or have exceeded the 2017 vote margins um, by quite a bit. So we think that the Democratic message worked. All of these big names coming in did work. It woke up Democratic voters and they showed yeah, yeah. up tonight. Yeah, Kristen Soltis Anderson made the very good point. Uh, do will Democrats stay voting Democrat? I know you hope they do. Uh, Josh, late night for you. We'll talk to you in the coming days. Thank you. So spin right now from the McAuliffe campaign. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.